Welcome to Off the Press. This is the program within the breakfast show where we take a look at our national dailies and try to make sense of it and have conversation around the things happening in our country and beyond as much as time would allow us to do. With me still in studio is Libros Oshoma to make sense of all of this. Good to still have you here, Libros. Always my pleasure. All right. Uh, we will begin with the Nation newspaper as would be displayed on the screen. Thank you to our production crew there. And it says, President Governors salute Senator Tunubu at 60. The story is on page 43. Concern over delay in tipping justices for Supreme Court is on page 44. I'm sure liberals will have something to say around that. And eight die in Lagos, Sibadon road accident, a floods, fury in Kwara, Nasrawa, and Rivers. Those you find on pages 46 and 41 of the nation newspaper. And uh, the big story, uh, Jagada disowns thugs arrested with firearms. Uh, Karadolu urges ex-aspirants to join his team. We will take our message to the people, says ADC. You find that on page 44. And uh, CBN probes 71 for suspected forex deals is on the front page, but it's continued on page 41. And thousands beat Emir of Zazo farewell uh, god rest him it's also on the front page there but it's continued on page eight i believe a lightning kills uh, 15 cows in ekiti on page six uh, health workers suspend strike finally also you find that and then we have the big story for the nation obaseki he says i owe my victory to the people's collective will Buhari, PDP governors, observers, uh, observer group rather, and others hail verdict. That's good news for democracy in Nigeria. You can see the results there um, displayed on the screen for you. Uh, APC and PDP, APC, Ganaj, 223,619, while PDP got 307,955, and that's how Obaseki became the winner. We also have Nestle to ensure 3.6 million farmers. Good news. And then all your APC committed to reconciliation. And that's all we've got there. You can see the picture story of uh, the new governor of Edo State there. All right, liberals, I would hand over to you. Let's talk some politics this morning and national issues. I'm wondering which one is catching your attention apart from Edo State. Oh, that nice is your state, by the way. to ensure 33.6 million farmers. Farmers. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering why you started. I, I, that's a pleasant surprise. I thought you were going to jump into the Edo politics. No, I've been Enough discussing. Enough has been said, yeah? <laughs> see, I've been discussing Edo politics okay. since Saturday and, um, yeah. you know, um, so that other, you know, I don't want to be part of that, you know, frenzy mood of, you mm. know, overflogging. You want us to move, to move away. Overflogging a dead <laughs> horse. That does now. not mean I won't comment on it. Right. I don't want to overflog a dead horse mm. um, uh, because, um, for me, uh, food, food security is very, very important. Sure. Um, agriculture is very key. And um, if we do not, if we do not ensure that um, truly, we not only ensure the farmers, we also ensure that we provide adequate facilities, mm -hmm. storage and infrastructural facilities for farming for them, then um, we might just be living from hand to mouth. Right. Um, and then transportation, you find out that um, problem really, you have the, the northern part of this country produces a lot of, you know, um, grains. Uh, not just grains, including vegetables, tomatoes, mm. onions, and the rest. But we're still grappling with storage. So while you're ensuring the farmers, also ensure that, you know, we're not talking about just storage, but processing, because mm. agriculture without processing. That's the processing, it's the value added. Right. Without value added, we end in poverty. And that's why Côte d'Ivoire, you know, generates uh, annually about three point uh, something billion dollars from cocoa um, annually. Why Switzerland, hmm. that adds value 
to it. To eat from chocolate it makes about seventy point something, you know, wow. billion dollars from that same cocoa. The difference is quite clear. Yes, the, the massive gap. <laughs> and so you find out that people who extract Nigeria, how much does Nigeria make from extraction of crude oil? But those that are processing it, you have a lot of byproduct from it, you know. And and so. We should, those days, um, do you know that most of the industries in the West were built from funds from cocoa? Mm. You know, um, most of um, the industries in the North were built from funds from farming, granots, you know, and the rest. Right. You remember the granite pyramids Pyramid of Kano, Kano. Right. you know? But today, even most of the universities in the East were built from funds from palm produce, mm. you know? But today, we have all abandoned all of that. We are back to, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, oil. And we decided to shut our borders to enhance agriculture. And yet, you know, even we still cannot, the locally produced rice is still very high. The price is still very high yeah, because there are a lot of factors. Mm. My, my village, for example, Anegbete, is a rice producing community. But how much of that has the state invested in, you know? How much of all of these are we encouraging people in? Mm. It is not enough to ask all of us to go to the village. All of us can to, all go to, to the village. Farmers, yeah. You will have, there are some persons. In America, they subsidize um, um, farming. And that's why I intentionally wanted to start from mm. insurance. You subsidize food produce because the farmers, government will ensure, you know, not just to ensure food security. A man can take 30 hectares of land, you know, to farm. Once the farm, farming is mechanized, mm -hmm. you don't need it's a lot uh, more easier. It becomes easy. It's a lot easier. Even harvesting is a lot easier, except you are harvesting. And even attractive, by the way. Yes, mm -hmm. except you are harvesting produce that you can't, um, you know, harvest using mechanized air. Even maize, do you know that it is so sad now that we are still, you know, we have to rely on grains from, you know, Niger Republic and the rest. You know, so beans at a point, we we're importing beans from uh, Niger, the same Niger Republic. And I remember as a young child then, we farm beans. Most of the food we consume as a young child, we farm, mm. you know. So all of this, it's not just enough to say, it is a good step yeah. so that it doesn't look as if I'm just coming. <laughs> a good step to ensuring farmers. Yes. But ensure also that you have, let's have consistent stakeholders interaction. The CBN loan that we're giving to farmers to farm rice, some of them collected the money and went to marry new wives. So what are the modalities for ensuring that you recoup? Mm -hmm. We give um, um, licenses to rice, you know, farmers, farmers. To, to farm and, and um, distone and polishing. But what were they doing? They import and then they come rebag here. You know, um, this government has encouraged farming to a large extent, mm. but we need to go further. Right. And then um, quickly, okay. um, uh, you said I will go there, and truly I will go there. Concerned <laughs> about tipping, delay in tipping justices yes, for Supreme yes, Court. Yes, yes, um, Because the windmill of justice here, we say grind slowly, but we forget that. Um, but we say grind slowly but surely, but we forget that justice delayed is justice, justice denied. denied. And so, even the Supreme Court, as I speak, is overbody. If you listen to um, the Leonard Senior Advocate, uh, Minister for State for Labor, uh, Festus Kiamo, during his screening, my very good friend, he said that if he had the opportunity, he would break the Supreme Courts you know, into six different Supreme Courts and then one Supreme Court so that the Supreme Court na cannot be overboarding. As mm. I speak, Supreme Court do not have dates for 2021 and 2022, except for political wow. matters. So if you have matters in Supreme Court, some of us that have matters there, 2023, wow. you know, will be the earliest date that you, because it is overboarded. All the appeals from all of the, you know, court of appeals in Nigeria all lie to one Supreme Court with three chambers, you know. And then, so that's how we have clogged the wheel of justice. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's why anything that will enhance the fast tracking of, you know, um, dispensation of justice, I don't think we should delay it or, or any, know, further. Uh, any further. Okay. And then on Edu, um, quickly, like I said before, yes, victory to the people, to the resilience of the people, you know, to the will of the people. To the will of the people and, you know, all of that. That was the same thing Oshomole said in his time and said, you know, when he defeated Aneni and his um, PDP that he will end Godfatherism. 
My advice would be for Obaseki. I have said it consistently. People, a lot of people have complained about his style. He can't always be right. right. He should try and listen and then, you know, ensure that he endears himself to these same people today who have helped him, you know, climb up there. Because of all the people. If you get there and then these same people who have helped you today, you have jumped ship. And tomorrow they turn around to say, oh, in fact, we are feeling what APC also felt mm -hmm. with you. Then, you know, there's a problem. And lastly, on the people, let them, this victory now, let them not allow the, the dust of the victory dance to overcloud their sense of responsibility by demanding consistently mm -hmm. accountability because there were promises made in exchange for this vote. For this victory. That's really crucial, uh, demanding for accountability from our leaders. We will push forward in the interest of time and take this day uh, newspaper and see what's happening over there. Before it is displayed, we will read from... Okay. Uh, CBN investigates more companies over suspected FX infractions. Uh, Stallion Nigeria, Interswitch, and all of those uh, affected is on the front page there, but it's continued inside the newspaper. NMPC to unveil successful bidders for pipeline rehabilitation in the first quarter of 2021. All right, uh, Libros is already smiling. We'll come to you. Tell us why you are you are having a good smile on this matter. And the big story: uh, Buhari Babangida. Tinubu, others, Mon Idris, the Emir of Zaria. Uh, that story is on page five. Be magnanimous, Buhari urges Obaseki as PDP routes APC in Edo. My victory triumph against uh, God Federalism, says Edo governor, and APC rejects election results uh, to decide on next step. Atiku, Saraki, and Tambual and others greet the governor elect. And um, that's it on it. Uh, this is interesting. Look at this. So, well, I don't know. Well, winners and losers, you find out for yourself what that's about. And that's the, on the front page, but it's continued inside uh, this day newspaper. Libras, uh, you, you were smiling earlier when I read out. Yeah, um, two things instructive for me. Um, mm. um, CBN investigate more companies over suspected. Effects, effects infractions. infractions. Um, you see, why we we'll continue to have this problem? Um, God rest his soul, um, uh, Chief um, Henry Boyo, Harry Boyo, you know, once um, educated me on why we we'll continue to have these infractions. Mm. Um, that um, shared the knowledge. Uh, when when mm. you are a country that um, produce barely nothing. You know, you're going to consistently going to ration. Barely nothing? Yes. Do you agree with yeah, I agree, this I agree barely with nothing? Him. I agree with him. You're right. continually going to ration, you know, forex mm. to people and then sometimes even struggle to defend your local currency. You know, because your balance of payment depends on, you know, how much leaves your country and, you know, what is coming in. Now, we're talking about uh, since 2016. We've been telling uh, marketers, go source for forest to import fear. But, you know, it's, always, it's still the NMPC mm. that um, is important because marketers cannot afford, afford it. to source for forest at the black market That's and then in, import that product and sell at the government control price. And then secondly, um, a situation where government will, you have various rates you have government rates for certain business. A lot of people are doing round tripping. You know, you, you get forest at government approved rates. Mm -hmm. And then you now go, you sell it at black market rates. You get the forest at a government approved rate yeah. for importation. And then you don't bother. You just, you know, sell it at black market rates. Like Sanusi Lamido Sanusi described. With a phone call, you make so much money. Yeah. You know, Some people so don't need job even. Yes. <laughs> you know, so definitely, just like the way, um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, treasury bills were. If with treasury bills, if, if uh, banks would pay 1% on loans, mm -hmm. on um, uh, deposits, and then, you know, uh, federal government is paying 14% on treasury bills, why would I want to put my money in the bank? Sure. When I can just go buy treasury bills and Straight get up. even my 14% up front. You know, it is the same thing. And so with that, you're going to consistently be investigating. 
what we should be encouraging is how to ensure the enabling environment so that you can um, your know, local manufacturing and businesses will thrive. Last week, I think I talked about China, mm. uh, where even the clothes we are wearing now, some people now go to China to produce them and bring them here, and then the cost of production will be low, and he will still have to compete with those who are producing locally, yeah. who, are, who are sewing locally. So that's, for me, it's why government will consistently do that. But let the investigation be, you know, transparent enough, and let them put, you know, um, uh, plug loopholes and yeah, ensure that you know the infrastructure. So we de-emphasize this usage of dollar, and then um, I, you know I smiled on the NMPC so uh, successful, successful bidders of pipeline rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Pipeline rehabilitation has become a massive you know job. Re rehabilitation and protection of pipelines, you know, have become um, you know a big business. The, the, before now, it used to be TAM, mm. turnaround maintenance for our refineries. And so government said, no, we no longer want to do turnaround maintenance. We want to hands off the refineries. And so you are handing off refineries and you're handing, you are importing. And, and so your local refineries cannot work and you're waiting for that good thing. And here you are, it's okay, by 2021, we'll um, unveil list of bidders or, you know, I would have expected that you know, as you're unveiling list of bidders for protecting, rehabilitating the refineries, you're also unveiling list of bidders for those, because you can't run away from those refineries. You can't right. just leave them like night. Kaduna refineries for how many years had not produced anything, and yet, and yet, we have staffs there who are collecting salaries, heads overhead, you know? And, and so that means you're borrowing to feed your workers. And so if you are rehabilitating this pipeline, so is it the one you import? Okay, you, you, you import, and then once you pump um, uh, from the jetty in mm. Lagos, you know, uh, pump to Kaduna, why don't you also find a way to ensure to that, the, that one. fix the one in Kaduna while you are also it's good to rehabilitate? Because that's one big problem that we have. Do you know why Shell, the, um, in London, they are in the community in, um, in um, one of the communities in Niger that have got judgment against share in, in, in the UK. This um, co contributory negligence, mm. the, um, the London court accused Shell of being, of um, contributing to the negligence that resulted in the five pipeline you know, vandalization. Before now, it was common for the oil companies to say, the people did it. The people destroyed it. Mm. And, and so whatever responsibilities that uh, whatever um, uh, outcome that um, became of the destruction, that they were not responsible. And everybody caught in England said, no, you can no longer avoid responsibility because there are equipment, surveillance cameras now for monitoring, mm. you know, your pipelines. And so anytime there is an attempt, you know, to trigger from the control room. So you are responsible for not installing those. So we also it's need to invest, invest in, in all of these, um, uh, you know, monitoring equipment and cameras okay. uh, and try to eradicate poverty because it's poverty that is actually causing all of True. this vandalization. Lastly, let's take uh, the Punch newspaper. Uh, very quickly, we are pressed for time. It says foreign reserves rise by $140.9 million, and now $35.81 billion. The story is on page 40, and health workers resume as Johesu ends warning strike, thankfully. That story is on page 8. 78 firms to, uh, bid to rehabilitate the pipelines, and that's according to NNPC. Bandits on reprisal kidnap, uh, on reprisal kidnap 42 persons in Zampara. That's on page 14. Uh, the EFCC has recovered 4.4 billion naira looted from uh, our agency. That's according to NHIS boss. That story is on page eight and eight burnt to life, uh, burnt to death. I apologize. As bus crashes on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. That story is on pages four and six, as well. And then wild jubilation as Obaseki defeats Ize Yamu and APC alleges foul play. PDP candidates called, you know, we already mentioned that Basaki was busy rigging while raising false alarm, claims beating opposition party. All right, uh, PDP candidates caused that amount of votes and party says, we've retired godfathers and caged lions. Interesting lines there. And then you have the picture stories. And uh, APC PDP exchanged words as uh, police arrests 
Undo armed thugs on page 24, 14 year old girl uh, raped to death in Ugu. Again, we have this sort of story. Um, Kwara Winstom, uh, one dead and other missing, seven worshippers escaped death. Work on Oyo, Oyo Dry Port project in progress, according to the DG. We have picture story of really, really wild uh, celebration, <laughs> wild jubilation, as uh, the bunch puts it there. Uh, Libros, we have quickly, two minutes. Uh, yeah, quickly, um, mm. <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> yeah. um, it's unfortunate that um, head workers, we talked about it last week, mm. our head workers, government won't even allow them to go on strike. But we're ah, happy boy. they're back now. From, mm -hmm. um, then, bandits on repressor kidnap, kidnap 42 persons in Zamfara. It's so easy now for us to just flip through this news. And it's, you know, we're so insensitive to death and kidnapping now. That, you know, so I, it it's is high time we sit down and rework our security apparatus. All this idea of um, local vigilante, central policing and all of that, it is no longer working. Hmm. We need to find a way to decentralize policing. We are scared that governors will use it. Governors will use it. Federal government is using it against, you know, some persons. So that's why they are scared. But if life, if Nigerian lives really matters to us. We should find a way of securing their lives. And then, eight bonds to death as bus crashes on Lagos. This is also another avoidable death. The, you have VIOs who are vehicle inspectorate of, uh, officers who are inspect, inspecting, are supposed to be inspecting vehicles and ensuring that they are roadworthy. Mm. But you are not, there's nobody also inspecting the road to ensure that they are vehicle worthy. Correct. You know, so it's a flip sign I, I you find people also who will obtain vehicle uh, roadworthiness without anybody seeing their vehicle <laughs> you know and because of poverty there was a day i was traveling to benin and i got to the park i didn't know who the driver of the bus was only for the man to come out from somewhere was reeking of alcohol you know i had to raise alarm that no 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 this guy cannot drive this. Mm. I, the one passenger ended up driving that bus that day the driver sat down, was sleeping and sleeping snoring. Away. You know, and, and so when you put all of this together, where there's need for all of us, including government, that's why you need to de decentralize governance properly. Mm -hmm. Let us hold governors, local government, councillors accountable for some of these repairs. Situation where all roads, almost all roads, will belong to federal government. How many can you rehabilitate? And then the, you tie the road, the drivers, there's no speed limit. So all of this, yeah, EFCC, our uh, uh, foreign reserve. Mm, unfortunately, we can't take yeah. all. <laughs> um, um, foreign reserve. Um, um, why government is, you know, it is good for us to save. Why government is improving and increasing foreign reserve. There's also need for us to increase the stomach reserve. Right. Because very there is crucial. so much hunger in the land. <laughs> very, very crucial. <laughs> Libras, thank you so very much. That's a good way to wrap it. Uh, the stomach reserve is quite important. Uh, as always, time is never enough for us on this show. Yeah, but exactly. we are grateful to always have you. Thank you so very much. And that's how we wrap it on Off the Press.